Let me just a little bit more on the economic cycle. Essentially, these cycles, to simplify them, have done this for thousands of years. There are big cycles and small cycles. For example, we're going through a current cycle where we're about here when, um, let's say, finance and stocks, money, was the most important thing in the world, and commodities were the worst. At that point, which was when the stock markets were at the highs, so this is the other cycle now. That's the big cycle. Paper money was worth more than commodities. commodities this is the commodity cycle, let's say. Commodities were worth nothing compared to what people wanted in stock. Nobody wanted to trade a single share that was a mining company because they wanted technology. They wanted internet companies. They, wanted, they didn't care about earnings. They just wanted to be involved. People wanted to borrow as much money as possible. And what happens is, the financial part of the economy became so large versus the real economy, where people actually physically mine things. What's happened is this started to change. So now suddenly we look in the FTSE and we see the big companies are oil companies. We see the big companies are mining companies. But there's still a lot of banks and a lot of other things in there, consumer companies. And over time, that will change. And these big cycles have always happened. There's always some part of the economy that's going down, another part that's going up, and this is ever-shifting thing. These big things are very important in the investment horizon. You need to know where you are and in kind of in what cycle. So if, for example, we say the US economy is in its down cycle and we're going to go to recession, which is something I think, and many analysts will think that, then we know that in a recession, stock markets tend not to do very well. Some parts of the stock market will do better. So that already gives us a bias about how we think of the world. Now, again, it's all about time horizon. If our trade horizon is two days, frankly, this doesn't matter. If your trade horizon is two months and you've got a summer of bad news coming, it's going to matter. So you have to be aware of the economy in the next few months, considering what's going on in the, in the economy. Many of you would say, maybe I'm just going to be a little bit cautious. You know, maybe I won't buy a new car now, or I'm not going to buy a new washing machine, whatever it is. That's telling you you're unlikely to spend as much money in the coming months.